All right, I removed the seat belt from the passenger side and I'm grabbing the seat belt from it. Maybe 10 feet. It's not as much as what I want. It's been a real chore getting it off of this spring loaded. Cause look at that. It wants to just, it wants to spin. And I had to fight it. Now I gotta fight that. And just thread through around these metal pieces. It's kind of weird listening to this Walmart radio. They're playing Christmas music, wishing everybody a Merry Christmas. But there's not a single employee or shopper inside this building today on Christmas. Yet they play the radio that can be heard out in the parking lot, wishing everybody a Merry Christmas. I, I think I'm probably the only one who can hear it. All right, it's looking good that I can create some head clearance. I'm pulling out all the bolts for this thing. It's gonna take out the whole slide track for this. And it's, and what's the only thing that's moving is, is the slide track, not the part. I never tested this before. I was thinking I'll just tape this, this uh, window on top. And I'll have, uh, wow, I'll have a lot of head clearance if this comes out. Wow, I just improved my head clearance. I got some real head clearance now. Now I just want to tape, when that dries, tape uh, the bottom side of this window. It's holding up. That's great. I won't be hitting my head up, up there now. I waited so long to take that out. All right, look at that. I can, I can sit up straight. And I don't, I don't hit my head on anything. That's some great clearance. All right, I finally managed to pull off this uh, airbag for the passenger side. Let's see if we can record. Is that readable? That's heavy. This is a 10 pound piece and it's going to take my uh, top with it. So I, I have an exposed top. I guess I want to protect that in some way. Clean it out a little bit. Clean it out somehow. Let's try to find those ants. And then cover it. There's pipes that lead to the engine, probably. I hope that no indicator lights come on on my dashboard for this. Uh, but if they do, I'll have to live with it. And uh, yeah, I'll just, I want to uh, make sure nothing falls down in there. And I think maybe just putting plastic bags as a lining can help. I actually had the right size tool. It took me a while to, to realize that this was, it's an eight millimeter, which is in my Huffy little tool pack for bicycles. And I couldn't quite reach some of those bolts. So I had to improvise and uh, beat up that, that tool a little bit on the end. It's a Leaf NATO. kind of moving away from me all right so it looks upon whoops uh, turn turning on the car then I'm gonna be getting the flash now that I've taken that that airbag out that's gonna be flashing on me periodically so 
Maybe I'll just put a piece of tape over that or something. All right, I'm getting tiny shocks off of my car now. I'm getting a little concerned about that. I might have uh, taken so many things out to rearrange something to cause uh, a shocking. It's it's uh, noticeable. I don't know what to think of it exactly. It's noticeable. Three happened three times. Just little shocks. Never had it before. That's unusual. Uncontrolled fire? Or is this intentional? It seems uncontrolled to me. It smells all like wood. Doesn't smell like trash at least. Yeah, that fire is making me feel sick now. I flew the drone over to check it out and I see fire department showed up. Seems isolated. <laughs> it does smell plasticky now. Alright, it's almost four o'clock. And that fire that's blowing into the Walmart parking lot is still smoking. That's smoke on the end of the bleacher there. Still billowing into the air. Still blowing into the Walmart parking lot. So it's just clearly not an option to sleep in Walmart. this Walmart tonight. Got to move the next city over. All right, I have stayed here pretty much the rest the whole day. And now evening is coming. I want to get going. Got to get going. Got to move. This is blue stem grass. It's so peaceful in this parking lot. Nobody comes in. Nobody came in today.
it all depends on the area and the people there some places they might they look like they could be quiet and they're not other places not too sure turn out to be really quiet it just depends on the people and what their habits are So I'm in the museum in Pine Bluff, or uh, yeah, library museum in Pine Bluff. And this is an old style bowl. I guess I never thought of them being so wide. And then this is another one. That's pretty neat. like I have to interact with you. I see there's a padlock. Yep, password right All right, I might be at this Bird Lake natural area, but it's not looking so great. People ain't coming here for nature. They're coming here to smoke their dutches, drink their sodas, and of course leave the trash behind, the BLK, their BLKs. So they're smoking, there's condoms, possibly drugs, eating junk food anything but um, enjoying nature here this is actually a sidewalk too <laughs> a si why would they do a sidewalk most a lot of nature trails would want to keep them all more natural than this you want to know what's really strange is they can build a sidewalk into the nature trail as part of the nature trail but they can't put sidewalks on the side of the road in this city what gives they have really screwed up priorities never seen a message like this on a sign a healthy forest needs dead trees kill them trees <laughs> It kind of encourages people, get out there and chop them trees. It's good for nature. Right, so I'm gonna use the gorilla tape and just tape across and start blocking the sun, start covering up this window because uh, it brings in too much light. All right, I'll allow a little bit of light to escape in. For now, we'll see how it looks.
So they they preserved this forest so people could have a good idea what a natural forest would look like. And it's different. It's different from Wisconsin, that's for sure. Wisconsin doesn't have these little nodules sticking out on the shoreline. But uh, also there's similarities too. There are some similarities. Can be a little difficult. And if you look at some, at some angles to tell the difference between Wisconsin and Arkansas. At first I thought I was looking at a spine. These are all little mushrooms, little white. Is, does that mean that it's since they're perfectly white, they're edible? All right, I like I like to hug the tree and uh, apply force in a rowing fashion. You just hold. Feels good. All right, hand walking a tree. So I want to drive my hips <laughs> into the tree for added force. I think this is a non-lethal snake, right? These vines that latch on the trees, this type of vine latches on incredibly tight. I cannot, I cannot move it at all. It just gets entwined into the bark, into the tree. All right, it's after 6.30, I think. I left the Walmart pretty quick. I don't know what was happening to my heart. Something woke me up at 4, 4 a.m. and with a heart, my heart racing and a little struggling to breathe. I couldn't smell anything in the air. It's like I kind of blame myself But what if it was the environment too? I don't know It's really troublesome to deal with these health issues. I Thought I was gonna I thought I was close. I felt pretty close to dying But but uh, yeah, it's it's what I say a little after so it's been two hours and <laughs> I mean it's just, I feel the after effect. I'm tired. I want to go back to sleep, but I wasn't able to at that Walmart, so I left, come to this, this park. See if maybe an environment change does anything. I mean, I've breathed in smoke in the past. It's caused my heart to go crazy on me. And I've, that's been obvious. I've smelt it, but I didn't smell, smell anything at this Walmart, so I'm confused. All right, I am not happy with the condition of my heart region. I 
I can't tell what what I need to do exactly to to uh, ease this heart. Uh, I was able to relax. I was able to fall asleep without uh, problems. I was woken up. I was startled awake by a truck. Uh, then I went on this little, just a short bicycle ride and I could really feel the strain in my heart, like things were, pressure was building up too much. There's, <clears throat> there's not enough room in here. It's really frustrating. I'm going to blame egg yolks and just stick with the egg whites. Just, just as something that's, that seems to make sense. Reduce the egg yolks, not eliminate. I throw away more, more egg yolks. Maybe only have, if I have six eggs, only one egg yolk per six eggs as a, as a standard to see what, if anything, that the change that could cause. I remember when I chewed on wild yam and it felt like I shut down part of my heart and I know they got the steroidal saponins mess with my hormones which mess with my heart messes messes with the impulses and there's a connection there when the herb is is messing with the impulses it drains from the heart <clears throat> and I, I suspect star anise if that's really it I have to throw it all out never to touch again I could handle wild yam in the beginning a little bit but it wore on me I never touched wild yam again. It almost seems like the uh, um, taranese is like similar to a coffee bean. You know, there's also the warning about watch out for Japanese taranese. I gotta look look into that, but I think hormones are really getting me. The hormones that overstimulate my natural process I'm more vulnerable being older I can't handle it I don't make enough progesterone or all those other things to deal with it <clears throat> here I was all gung-ho about pulling this uh, driver's seat out and seeing what it feels like but uh, now I see that it's attached to the seat seat belt it would make a it'd make it unsafe. I'm a little amazed how rusty my seat got. It's been uh, cracked too. I was beating the heck out of it, sitting on it and stuff. Over time rusted it and cracked it up. Alright, as I go through the day, my heart still struggles. Today is it's really rough. I I, uh, I took a nap inside my car, and I wake up with uh, I could feel my heart beating. I, it was it was struggling. So I wonder if I well I touched a lot of trees yesterday in Pine Bluff in a park, and there's there's like moss. And, and there's mushrooms around. I wonder if I if I poison myself. I, I touched it with my clothes. I was like hugging trees. Maybe maybe I I picked up a toxin uh, that was on one of the trees. I went from yesterday feeling perfectly fine to to today dealing with this racing heart issue. It's really taking me by surprise. I mean, what what would cause such a intense heart racing issue? And uh, I've 
I've emptied my bowels like five times today. It doesn't quite seem like diarrhea. And I don't think I have a fever. I'm just I'm just weak from the racing heart. Like I was exercising all day today. My heart going nuts. But I didn't I didn't really do a thing. And if I walk at a, a faster pace than normal walking, I'll get like walking up a hill. I'll get out of breath, and and uh, it's it's too much. <clears throat> yeah. So your Wi-Fi seems to have failed on three of my computers. I, I can pretty much, um, like, you know, uh, not determine. Uh, let's see. Conclude. I can conclude that your Wi-Fi doesn't work. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, I am connected. All three of my computers are connected. Is that the internet? That's right. That's weird. Yeah. Do, who's your tech support? <laughs> we don't have one. That's a problem. Yep. Um, You're telling me? It, um, I'm, okay. Yeah, it says connected, uh, but it was saying that, well, actually it was not connected for a little bit. And then I walk over here. Actually might be connected now. All right, well, you know, when I got logged in after typing in all the passwords and stuff, uh, each one was failing on me, so I guess each one, they all just, I just needed to walk over here, maybe? I'm not sure, but um, my computer's connected, it's got internet right now, so. Yeah, I it's just. Not the Wi-Fi itself. <laughs> just, okay, yeah. Um, oh, all right, I'll just see, I guess. Right, I made the decision that I would never buy a multi-tool, a little quirky multi-tool that you can maybe fit on the chain ring or your key, your keys, your car key ring or something. But uh, here I go and I bought multi-tools with this Camus. They're right as a part of the diagram. These These two little things. Two, I got two little multi-tools that came a part of the knife. Now, where are they? Uh, apparently, you, you push this little button, and they shoot out. All right. So you shoot out multi-tools out, out of the back of your knife because they're spring-loaded. Okay, that was a little bit lighter. So I bought, I pretty much bought multi-tools that I don't use, but I'm like, this is such a crafty design that uh, <clears throat> I bought, I, I'm, I'm willing to, to live with these multi-tools. I'm willing to keep them right, right in the back there. It's kind of a, a neat setup, adds a little weight. So they, they have a pretty good design here uh, for those for those little multi tools, and I've noticed that these multi tools have come in a lot of varieties, shapes, and sizes. And I look at them, but I'd never buy them until until I you know, I got this knife. I see that they came with the knife. That's that's probably that's that's the best setup I've. I've seen for them, even though I don't see myself using them, uh, I may. All right, I just want to say that I've never seen someone drive into a dog park before. This is designated as a dog park. There is a sign on the end of this parking lot that says so. But one lady is, as you can see by the tracks, just pulling in closing the doors and then releasing her dog it's the only one I've ever seen like uh, set up like this where someone's using it and all of that it's not too busy so you can get away with it if it was busier that wouldn't be something 
that they would want to encourage, I think, 